Right. And I'm back. Uh, we are back. And uh, we're just uh, walking around here. Uh, Barry's going to get rid of a few extra landmines, get a few more parts. Or I'm going to screw up and walk right over one. It's fine. He's not dead, so we can fix him. And we have lots of meds, too, thanks to finding this. I'm pretty sure there are no more landmines, he said. Not thinking clearly at all about what's happening. All right, he's bandaged up, and we're going to go chat at the little explosives maker. Go ahead and loot all this stuff before we talk to her. Just some extra parts and a peacemaker, which we're just going to go ahead and scrap for more parts. Oh, hey, we got a steel pipe out of it. Right, have a chat. Well, that's fine, and I like explosives too, but you just blew yourself up. <clears throat> Well, like you said, uh, you would make more explosives. Yeah, <coughs> all right. Well, if you're gonna make us some explosives, go ahead and do that. Okay. So why do you call yourself that? That's what they call me. Well, at least that's what I call myself. That grumpy old guy Basil calls me a bunch of other names, but some of them I don't even understand. What does whack job mean anyway? At least those Elysian boys respect my work. They are very careful and polite around the workshop, and they bring me useful parts for explosives. Hmm. I would stop that if I were you. <clears throat> but they are nice. They bring me parts to make boom toys. These parts very low quality. Barry would know. He's an expert. Yes, consider it done. What do you think about Basil anyway? Okay, that's fair. It's a philosophical difference. Tell us a joke. You're a regular laugh riot. All right, well, have a good life. Yeah, we'll do just that. All right, in the meantime, 
Let's go ahead and pop back over to Ernie, eh? And uh, do some healing on poor Barry. And le to a lesser extent on Igor, since he got blown up. Okay, so we got also a couple of mercs who are tired. So I will be mindful that they should not be doing anything for a little bit. Actually, I guess it's fine, because I'm going to be having them R&R &R anyway. Anyway, uh, you are a CQC person, so getting in close is important. We're going to give you Fast Runner. Let's go ahead and treat those wounds. It's going to take a while, but that's okay. Uh, and then let's go ahead and have... Let's do a full repair run with the other two who aren't doing anything. Uh, I don't see any of my items. That doesn't seem normal. There we go. Now they're back. Uh, go ahead and start repairing. You guys are going to be at that for a while too. So let's get to it. Igor is free, so Igor, you go ahead and start training some more militia. You're terrible at it, but that's fine. I just want you to start it. Ah, Meltdown and Thor are now available. Keep that in mind whenever I start recruiting new mercs. Okay. Go ahead and add you to the training uh, we are gonna go ahead and have let's go ahead and have buns train marksmanship on Barry and then you guys do another round of repairs As soon as that militia's done, we're going to go ahead and move move in. It is always good to learn more and become better. Okay. All right, we can't really wait any longer. We're going to go ahead and go in, even with them tired. I don't expect that they're going to have to move much in this fight. And you'll see why as we get into it. There is a secret entrance over here. Uh, I'm not going to use it, and you'll see why on that, too. First things first, Kalina. Walk around and gather herbs. Now that I've had Kalina grab all those, now we'll talk to you, Pierre. Off he goes. All right, then. Let's just not be seen, and then we can't get shot. All right, we're dealing with another minefield down here, which means I look at that, and I say to myself, oh, great. It's a, it's a whole new stack of, uh, 
uh, some parts for me to grab. I just need to have Barry take his time and pick his way through and pick up all the mines. Just whistling as polite as you be as uh, I just get myself a whole bunch of free parts by disarming all of your mines. As long as you take your time and you've got a really good explosives expert, you can absolutely just grab as many mines as you want. And every time you successfully disarm a mine, you uh, get a bunch of parts, one to two parts. So it's very handy to help restock your parts. And uh, that's what I'm doing now. You also uh, farm wisdom and explosives on your explosives expert, which is a nice little bonus too. However, don't do this if you don't have someone who's as good as exp at explosives as, like, Barry. Because otherwise, you're liable to blow yourself up, lose all of yourself, and take a bunch of damage. So, don't do this unless you have a good explosives expert on your team. You'll uh, wind up doing a lot more harm than good doing it this way. But if you do have a good explosives expert, absolutely do it this way. You get yourself, you know probably a couple dozen for every one of these major minefields you probably get a couple dozen parts uh just to uh work on your guns later so pretty handy stuff with that said uh that me that field looks pretty picked clean uh i'm gonna go ahead and have barry walk over here just in case walk along here make sure the path they're gonna take doesn't have any mines on it looks good and now we go over here. Um, let's see. In this case, it's like I'm going to swap up the uh, gear a little bit. Uh, because Omrin doesn't have any free move because he's tired, we're going to swap guns around a little bit. We're going to go ahead and give him... Uh, let's give him Buns' sniper rifle. And then we're going to adjust, uh, let's see. Buns can just hang on to his shotgun for now. And then she can take, or no, we're going to go ahead and give her that sniper rifle. We're going to have a bunch of snipers here. That's just basically what we're doing. Uh, all four of these guys are just going to have, uh, sniper rifles. And we're going to have... The others have more... Con uh, Igor and uh, Barry have a little bit more conventional weaponry. Uh, so Sniper. Uh, Igor, do I have another shotgun I can give you? I would like to. Uh, yeah, let's do that. You need the sniper rifle. Igor, you can also have a shotgun. In this fight, you're not likely to be using your knife, but hang on to it in case you need to swap over to it. Uh, sniper on Buns and uh, Kalina and Omrin and Squint. All looks very good. All right, let's go ahead and go up. <clears throat> So you can actually just spawn over here if you want, but I chose to take the long way so I could pick up all these extra parts. Uh, and you could remember from the Overland, there's a chest here that it's actually pointing out to you. So I'm gonna take a look at that. We'll see what's in there. <coughs> and what we have in here is some remote uh, proximity detonators C4 and a remote for remote detonators, too. All right. We'll take all that and put it in the squad bag. Okay. Now, over here we have what is a broken machine gun. Well, I have a mechanic. Kalina, if you'd be so kind, can you fix this machine gun? In the meantime, everybody else who has a sniper rifle, let's go up into the sniper tower. So, Omrin head up there. Buns, head up there. Uh, squint, head up there. Okay. It looks like I've got room for three people behind this barricade up here. So they'll be up there. 
Kalina can work from here on this thing. Barry and Igor, however, are going to go over here and get ready to blast anybody who gets too close. As Kalina goes ahead and hops on this brand new working machine gun. Now we're in good shape. Uh, so, let's survey here. We got Pierre here, Goon, Pierre's guard, a guy with an RPG. Okay, well, that guy's dying first. Another goon there. There's a sniper over here. Uh, he's going to be hard to deal with. Uh, Marauder. Goon, goon. Barry, um, can you get over here without getting spotted? Hide a little more. Okay, you're fine. Alright. Alright, first things first, we absolutely have to kill this guy. I'm not going to let him get a shot on us. So, just uh, pop this dude, if you please. <clears throat> Okay. All right. Well, that guy got taken care of. They see Barry. Hmm. Oh, that's an explosive barrel. Barry, I've got a plan for you. Perfect. This will go well. Go ahead and get the cover. Igor, you've got an easy shot on this guy. Take him out if you would. Okay. Well, you missed. I did not expect you to miss twice. Good job, Igor. Uh, Kalina can't hit anybody with her gun right now, but we'll leave her on Overwatch. Uh, and then we still have two snipers to go. I've got a shot on Pierre. I've also got shot on one of his guards with buns. Let's get rid of her. Or him. And let's go ahead and pin down Pierre with an arm, with a groin shot. And then Omrin, you also have a shot on Pierre, but you've got a shot on this guy over here. We'll give you a chance to take this guy out in one blow. Dead. Nice shot. Nice fucking shot. Okay, that's a pretty good first round. The goon is firing shots that are doomed to fail. Uh, a very, very long way. Pierre got himself into cover, so I didn't get to do my marked shot on him. And the sniper took a shot at Igor and missed. Well, that all worked out pretty well. Uh, Barry, you can get over here and get a shot on that goon. That seems like a pretty good idea to me. You also can now see Pierre. That's handy. But first things first, eradicate this goon. Thank you. Well done, Barry. Now get yourself back into cover with your free move. Uh, Kalina still has no shot, but it looks like Pierre wants to come out here, so I'm just going to continue leaving her where she is. The only other person who has a shot right now is Igor on the fucking sniper, and that's not happening. Uh, maybe with his AK, he might be able to get a shot on him. I mean, it's not likely, but he might be able to hit him. Uh, how about you just take cover this turn and get some extra AP for next turn? Um, buns likewise. Actually, no, you know what? Everybody in the sniper tower, just go ahead and hide and get AP for next turn. Sniper is now marking Igor. Okay, so I'm going to have to deal with that. Pierre and his guard came over here to stand next to Barry. Barry's just going to... Let's see. Um, 
Uh, I can get rid of Pierre's cover, so let's do that. He's now exposed. Barry, you can just stay in cover. You did good. Uh, so, do we have a shot on Pierre now? We do, because we exposed him. Uh, we can hit him in the arms, which is, as you can see, he's got really good armor on his head and his torso. So I'm going to aim all my shots at his arms, basically, since they're unarmored. Okay. Omrin, you don't have a shot on Pierre, so... Let's see if you can get another good shot on his guard. Dead. Nice shot. Uh, Kalina now is not really getting any production out of that machine gun, so I'm going to take her off of it. And you just get yourself some more AP. Uh, and Igor, so you are currently being marked by this sniper. Um, you can take one shot and then get into cover, I think. Let me, let me see. Do you have good cover? Yeah, you can just hop behind these barrels. So you'll be fine. Take one good shot on this guy and then get into cover. You didn't hit. Not a big deal. Just get out of sight. The goons got sight on him, but that's okay. Goons aren't, aren't much of a threat. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and have Buns cover him. No, you know what? Buns, see if you can take a shot on this guy. Now, it's way, it's pretty far out of your range, but you can do a full work down of aims. Maybe you'll get him. Didn't get him. It's fine. Go ahead and take cover. Get another AP for next turn. Almerin, take cover. Uh, yeah, we're good. The goon runs over all the way. Takes a shot. Misses. Pierre stays right where he is. Takes a shot. Misses. The first time, but not the second time. Uh, Barry, uh, I need you to evict this. Actually, no. Just keep shooting, uh, keep shooting Pierre. This is productive. Uh, Squint has uh, unfortunately lost her cover which is uh, not where we want her to be so I'm just going to move her over here and take cover so Pierre can't shoot her anymore uh, Buns has a shot on the goon but I, I want her to she doesn't have a shot on the sniper either yes. Kalina has a shot on the goon no shot on the sniper uh, let's uh, let's have Igor get rid of this guy because you still have your shotgun and uh that's bad news for goons. Go ahead and cover. Kalina has no shot on anyone except for Pierre. Uh, just Overwatch. Uh, Barry, you, you're good where you are. Buns, likewise, just Overwatch. See if Pierre steps out. Omrin, same song, third verse. Take a shot if he steps out. Oh, he ran to a bad spot. <laughs> this is covered by two shotgunners, Pierre. I wouldn't have run there. Uh, you're not going to have another shot, Igor, so just take cover. Uh, Barry, however, does have a shot, so take that shot. He is badly wounded now. Take your cover. And now I've got three snipers ready to shoot you. Uh, probably best shot on the groin. Take that. Pierre is down. Good job, everybody. Still no sign of that sniper. Hmm. I may have to have Igor go hunt him down. All right, Igor. Let's go ahead. You can you can hang on to your shotgun. I could switch you to your knife, but it's really not going to be any different from what would happen if you find him with your shotgun. There he is. He came out. Uh, Igor can't quite get to that guy this turn, so let's have my snipers take their freebie shots on this dude. Uh, he's quite far away, so we don't have necessarily much of a chance of hitting him, but it's as good as his chance of hitting us. So Maybe even better. As Bunch just displayed. And we win. 
Only one little wound on Squint. Not a big deal. Okay, that's cute. Cease fire messing and you have won. There is no shame in losing to honor a body for you. My life was in your hands. I see. Well, if you're so in with the major, do you know where the president's being kept? The major has been back in his camp. Don't even think about trying to risk the group. On the mainland, there is no other power but the Legion and no god but the major himself. I see. <laughs> well, if we let you go, what are you going to do, Pierre? They have bested me, but my life belongs to the Legion. I will not lie to you. I will talk to the Legion, and you will probably order me to hunt you down and kill you. If you don't want that, you know what to do. Hmm. Well, we beat your ass once. I'm sure we can do it again. <laughs> If we, say, wanted to go recruit the Major and recruit him to our side, where would we find him? It's not a big secret, and you are honorable opponents. The Major will enjoy meeting you in battle. You will find his fort at the Eagle's Nest up in the Highlands. I see. That's helpful. Thank you, Pierre. We should pack an extra lunch. Well, we did promise your father that we would let you go. So, au revoir. Yeah, I, I'm with buns on this one. All right, let's uh, loot the place. And you can see the new icon for mechanical traps. So, Kalina, if you'd be so kind. If you would be so kind. Thank you very much, Kalina. All right. Uh, I know there's a few salvage spots around here, so let's let her lead the way. See if we can continue to grind her absolutely awful wisdom. Okay. Grind more mechanical by picking this lock. Oh, she can't even pick it. She can't pick the back door, everybody. Sorry to say. But she did get the wisdom for finding that salvage, so... It's still good in the long run. All right. And there's a box to loot over here. Let's grab what we can. More grenades. Hello, uh, you go ahead and go in there. Somebody else go up and grab that. Grab that box. Back to Kalina. Hack that, if you would please. Okay. Another AK we certainly don't need. I will take the parts, though. Another sniper rifle we don't need. I'll take that parts, though. All right, Kalina, head upstairs. Another hackable device. Another 500 bucks. And here we have some Kevlar armor, long-distance relations, magazine... And some more good stuff. All right. Uh, you go ahead. B Buns, you read that because... Oh, you're not close enough. Everybody over here. Buns is going to read that because Buns is my marksmanship trainer. And we'll give the Kevlar armor to Barry because he's got the... Uh, he's going to be up close all the time. Okay. 
Okay. Well, let's go ahead and read that. Barry, you take this. Also, you leveled up. Uh, this is what we want on him, the half your free move range when wearing cumbersome armor. Uh, let's go ahead and give you... Okay, so when you're wearing heavy armor, uh, you can't benefit from fast runner. But if you're going to be facing enemies down in, in point-blank range, you do want flanker, because you flank people. That's what you do. So take that. And with that done, I think I have looted all the boxes. So, let's zoom out to this. And do this to loot the rest. Ooh, a FAMAS. That's nice. That's a nice little weapon. Uh, it's not in good shape, but that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and give that to... Somebody's going to want to use this as their primary weapon. Let's give it to... Let's give it to uh, Igor. And we also got this diamond shipment, which we can just cash in for money! All right, let's go back to Ernier. Okay, lots of people tired now. So with this many people tired, I'm gonna go ahead and do an R&R &R session. All right, so R&R &R will get rid of the tired and turn it into a well-rested. And uh, in addition to that, you can also sometimes get rid of a wound. So that worked out nicely. Uh, we'll go ahead and let this finish. Okay. Now we're all well rested. Let's pop back into Ernie, talk to the NPCs one last time, because I don't think we're going to be coming back anytime soon. We got our uh, militia walking around here. Very cool. What seems to be the trouble, villagers? Luke's having a hard time. Is that all you can think of? Huh? He is not your Pierre. Pierre is a vile gangster. Pierre was a good man. And now he is gone and Pierre walks free. And that is why you stand here today with a noose around your neck. What are you staring at, man? This is village business. It doesn't concern you. You want to... Tell me what's going on here, Basil. How's it Luke's fault? Yeah, uh, don't like a snitch. Wait, what? Burma? Burma, is this true? I don't have to present myself to you. What? Herman, what's going on? Yeah, <laughs> don't have to explain yourself to Basil, but you better explain yourself to Martha. Shut up, Martha. Men, get 
Yeah, Luke's right. Go ahead and spare him. Hey, Physics Cat. I was in your stream the other day, man. Did you finish your run? Uh, I'll run through my rod, run through my mods here in a second. All right. So let me run through the mods for you. They're back at the beginning of the VOD. I don't know if you can go view that, but I don't mind running through them again. This will be like episode three on YouTube, so it's not a bad idea to run through them. Uh, let me go to the menu, options, mod options. So I'm running Field Experience Unchained, which is uh, just slightly increases the rate at which mercs uh, improve their stats in the field. Not done yet. All right, I'll, have to, I'll have to tune in next time you do it. Um... I'm doing the UI, Audaki's UI enhancements, everything except the show trap type, since uh, they fixed that, and I don't need it anymore. So uh, I've got the custom settings mod on. Uh, I didn't really do anything with it, except I am using the sector inventory sorting, which uh, will allow you to sort the uh, stuff in a sector uh, so it all appears nice in order, which is great. Uh, and the merge virtual part of that, which also allows you to, instead of having to run around the map and grab stuff from every single corpse, you can simply just go to the sector stash, it'll all be there. It's very nice. Um, I've got the IMP multiple on, but I'm not using it. I just forgot to turn it off, basically. Default stats, default money. Merc max level is 46. That's not going to happen. I set it to that for when I was doing my solo run. That's not going to be a problem. <laughs> Nobody's going to get to level 46. Uh, default squads, default max mercs, offline mercs off, NPC free move, bonus is still on, squad multiplier one, def default max militia. I did slightly up the base drop chance for ammo and guns just by one tier for 3% for each of them, just to make it slightly easier as far as the guns go, but... Not that much. Everything else is on default. I am using the crafting items to squad bag mod, which allows you to put craftable skill books and valuables in the squad bag instead of eating up inventory slots. It's basically a quality of life thing where you just sort of assume that you just take the, that stuff and you throw it in a big bag that you all work with together. Uh, and I'm also trying out the auto renew contracts mod, uh, which has worked great so far. So that is the list of mods. Nothing really game changing at all. The only thing that really changes the game at all is the uh, Field Experience Unchained mod. And it's just to slightly increase the rate at which mercs naturally gain stats. So you don't necessarily have to train as much. It's just a quality of life thing. I do a lot of training in my runs anyway. So it's not really a big deal for me to just take that away a little bit. It also allows me to grind Kalina's Wisdom, which I have taken great advantage of. I've already got her Wisdom up to 55, which is uh, only completely terrible instead of worst in the game. So, very proud of that. Uh, let's uh, get our loot from Herman. Thanks, Herman. Nuts and bolts, that's immediately going to Kalina. Uh, and you can see, yeah, I've got crafting items... Uh, valuable items, they go to the squad bag. So they uh, don't eat as much space. And also you can see the squad, the amount items thing here too. Uh, it's the, uh, uh, no, no. Larry starts with like a 58, I believe. Uh, lowest to highest is like Kalina has 48, Tex has 51, uh, and then I think you get to Pierre, who has like 55, Larry has 58, uh, and then Steroid has 62. I think it counts up from there. Uh, but yeah, you can see I've got a stack of 9mm that's more than 500, and it's just 
convenience and quality of life. It's just nice that I don't have two stacks of 9mm when I don't need two stacks of 9mm. Uh, so, yeah. We uh, just wrapped up Ernie A. Island. Uh, I've got 14 stick grenades on Barry. Uh, oh, I didn't even notice I got these flak leggings. There you go, Barry. Uh, and we're going to... Um, oh, yeah, I also need to talk to Basil. Yes, that's once I once I found that item or that that mod that allows the stacks to change like that. I have never not played with it. I don't always play with the crafting items and valuables to the squad bag, but the thing that allows you to change the size of the stacks uh, or it removes essentially the cap on the size of the stacks makes it so much easier to work with. Um, anyway, I came to Basil to get. Famas and another Nuts and Bolts magazine. Uh, let's, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, oh, yeah. The two Nuts and Bolts magazines are both going to Kalina. Uh, hey, you're about to have Mechanic 70. Is that enough to fix the projector? I'll find out in a minute. Uh, let's go talk to Luke. Where the hell is Luke? Can't see anything with the damn fog. Thanks, Barry. Yeah, I mean, I, I already felt good about doing that, but that makes me feel even a little better. Uh, where the hell is Luke? Can't leave here until I talk to Luke. He's got he's got stuff to give me. There he is. Good grief. How's the volume, by the way, physics? Is the volume of the game good compared to my voice? And we acquired three more diamonds. Thanks, Luke. Uh, also, I was, I'll go ahead and tell you the, the main focus of this is I've got... Hang on, let me... I've got a... Uh, I, wrote, I wrote this all down. So, in order to recruit the Major... You've got to get 75 influence by doing various things across the map to recruit him. And so I've, 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 I've found a post on the Steam about where, how much it takes to recruit him. And I've added these things up. So if you recruit Pierre, you get 25 points. Recruit Flay, you get 5 points. If you kill Slave Master Graf, you get 10 points. Uh, if you send Elliot to prison... Or kill him, you get five points. If you kill Jackhammer, you get ten points. If you have Len or Ivan in your team, you can get five more points when you're talking to the Major. Uh, if you have Leadership 70 on a Merc when you talk to the Major, you can get another ten. And if you complete the Right Hand Man quest, the Flea Town quest, you get another five points. That adds up to 75. That doesn't even account for any outposts I take. You can get up to, uh, five, uh, up to 35 total points by taking outposts. So my goal in this run is to rush to the Major as quickly as I can and try and recruit him so I can get more of his commentary on the various stuff that can happen in the game. Because normally, when you play through the game, you don't get the Major until like the one of the last few sectors that you can get. And so you don't get to have Spike comment on stuff very much. So my goal is to get him as early as I feasibly can so I can get his commentary on all the stuff that I don't normally get to hear it on. That's my goal. Uh, it's going to be different because that means I'm going to trigger the world flip like way earlier than I usually do it. It's going to make things a lot tougher. Uh, it's going to make things way tougher. Like, for example, keeping the beast alive is going to be miserable because she's going to have to be going against army instead of legion. And like that's going to be really tough. But I'm going to give it my best shot. Uh, let's see if Kalina has enough mechanical to fix this now. Nope. <laughs> I guess she needs 75. She's only at 70. That's fine. I'll come back later. I don't really need to do it anyway. Game sounds pretty low. As if it was coming from your microphone. Okay, that's fine. Thank you for letting me know. I'll turn it up. Uh, I've got the actually the volume like very low. so I'm going to double it. And it should sound better. 
Uh, okay, so with that said, my main goal, my goal at the moment is I need to get some income coming. Uh, I currently have enough money to up Buns and Igor, so I will have everybody for 14 days. But I need to get um, my plan. Then is I'm going to go over here. I'm going to take uh, Mafumu's mine, set up a rudimentary couple of squads. Uh, look for the uh, diamond shipment that's going to be like probably like here or here or maybe up here. Uh, that's going to be around here. Get that to supplement my income a little bit. Then I'm going to go straight to uh, Coke de Azul, kill those guys. Take a boat all the way up here and go after Diamond Red immediately to try and get the money coming in so that I can comfortably continue my path. After, Because after that, I'm going to probably go straight across Flea Town. Uh, then I'm probably going to... Oh, uh, well, actually, I'm not going to quite do that. Because uh, having Flay will be very helpful in Diamond Red. So I'll probably do this first before I go to Diamond Red. Um, but after that, I'll, I'm going to get Flay. I'll come down. I'll do this stuff. Grab Larry. Uh, get Flea Town. Uh, do all of the loot boxes. So I get the Metaveron. Recruit Larry. So I'll have eight. And then we're going to beeline for Chalet de la Paix. Uh, probably not going to actually do any questing there. And I'm just going to leave a couple of people there. And hopefully if I have enough income at that point, um, I may hire, uh like raider or hitman and just park them there and just have them train militia forever uh and train when not training militia um just because i know that's a that's a choke point they'll kill off all kinds of units coming through there i can use it to farm ammo and guns and meds and all kinds of things and it'll be a base a nice place to be a base because then i'll do il marat next Take the quick path up to the Major, and then have him to turn around everything. Well, no, I'm sorry. Il Marat, and then I have to come here, recruit Pierre, then go to the Major. At some point, I'll stop in the refugee camp so I can uh, make Bastion be not a shithead and get the last little thing I need to make sure I can recruit Pierre, because recruiting Pierre is very important to recruiting the Major. It's worth actually worth the most points. So, that's my plan. But the first, steps, first step of that plan is come over here, grab Mafumu's mine. So we'll start here. Do I have intel for this sector? I don't. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll just skip that sector then and go straight to Mafumu's mine. Wow, I didn't get the diamond spawn over here. That's irritating. Well, it's fine. Once I have Mafumu's mine, I'll start getting money again. And it'll be fine. Uh, okay, this is an easy fight. I'm not worried about it. Okay, you guys can be over here. I've got a special quest from Igor to kill people with shotguns. All right, this is going to be Barry's job then. Uh, I, I, I do have another shotgun. Um, who has my other shotgun? Igor's got my other shotgun. Well, that makes sense. That's why he gave the mission. Okay, so Igor and Barry are going to be the vanguard here. As a matter of fact, if I come over here after the hyenas, after I kill the... If I just come over here and kill the hyenas, that'll just be done. Let's just do that. That's easy. Uh, you're getting closer and stuff. All right. Um, all right, let's see here. Barry and Igor, you guys just step forward. Stop them from walking around. Okay, they're about to trigger, so Barry, go ahead and take your shot. That was very funny. Uh, I, I usually do, but he doesn't have one right now, so... Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do his little mission by uh, killing these hyenas. And hey, job done. Igor reaches level 3. And why not go ahead and kill the other one too? I got lots of shotgun ammo. Oh, you didn't finish it. Well, Barry can. It's fine. Done and done. Uh, looks like I triggered... Nope. 
Didn't trigger any... Hello. Totally stealthy. You know, four shotgun shots, so it's, it's all whatever. Uh, yes, no, Igor does have his knife, but I don't have him equipped with it right now. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with him yet. I mean, I know he's got the one... Yeah, must have been the wind. Uh, he's got this FAMAS. Uh, don't use that one. That one's crappy. Use this one. It's better. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, and you leveled up. Um, so do I want you to be a melee merc? Because I know I'm going to get Flay. Flay's also going to be a melee merc. But if I'm going to have one melee merc in each team, that's fine. But Pierre, Pierre I'm also going to have, and Pierre is also a melee merc. Um, but what I could do is what you were doing with, uh, Scully and have, uh, Scully paired up with a melee merc and standing back to back so they get lots and lots of grit. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'll keep this melee build for Igor. But let's start. Let's give him some versatility so he can do a bunch of different things instead of just melee. Uh, so I'll give him flanker to start. Because if he's just going to get up into somebody's grill, you know, run up and do melee things, he can then like switch to a shotgun or something and just blow them away. Uh, hey, thanks for the follow, by the way. You're my second follow this stream. Uh, now that I've done that shotgun thing, hey, good luck. Get going. Okay, hey, man, thanks for popping in. Thanks for the follow. Uh, this is going to go up on my YouTube, too, so you can see what you missed. Uh, it's nothing you haven't seen before, but feel free to tune in if you want. Uh, and I don't know what I'm going to stream again, but with the follow, you'll know. So thanks for popping in, dude. Appreciate it. Oh, there's a guy here. Didn't expect to see a guy here. Uh, Omrin, if you would be so kind. Uh, snipers, go ahead and... Okay, I'm going to pause. Snipers start moving into position. Who's my other sniper right now? Buns. Buns is the other sniper. You also get into position. You're already going. Barry, you start going this way. Igor, pull out your FAMAS. Start going that way. Omrin, stick this guy if you would. Oh, you missed. Okay, well, this gets interesting then. Uh, who's still stealth? Let's see if we can take this... Okay, Buns is still stealth. I would still like to try and take this guy out sneakily. Yeah, problem solved. Ah, forgot about the other guys. Line him up. Uh, you don't have a shot, so get closer. Now you have a shot. Please remove this guy, if you would. Or miss. That works, too. Uh, Kalina, you need to get a little bit closer to have a shot. Okay. Take your shot. Deceased. Nice job. Extra dexterity is welcome. Uh, who else? Uh, Igor needs to get a little bit closer and set up an overwatch. Just like so. Since we are no longer in stealth, Barry, you go ahead and just get closer and duck down. All right, now you can see Barry. Let's see what he does. You got a little bit closer. Goon is over here. He walked basically right up next to Igor. That works. This guy, Igor doesn't even see it. Uh, this guy doesn't even see Igor. Uh, that is unfortunate for him. Because he's dead now. 
Uh, snipers, you got him. Uh, this guy is shooting at you. Please fix that. Oh, he got a graze. Lucky. Uh, Omrin, take the shot. Decease. Nice shot. Well, he's actually not wrong about that. Uh, go ahead and set up an Overwatch. You too, Kalina. Barry, you just keep moving forward. Nice. Agility bump. And take cover. Igor, you can go ahead and just take cover again. I think this is probably the only guys that are left, honestly. I will go All right, Barry's got an easy shot on this dude, since he didn't know Barry was coming. Blew him away. Nice job, Barry. Take out the other guy, maybe, with a lucky shot on the headshot? No, not quite so lucky. But it's okay, because now he's exposed, and uh, that means my snipers can easily get rid of this guy. Job done. Doesn't get any easier than that. All right. Let's go chat with this uh, Indiana Jones looking mother. Could have fooled me. It looks like a diamond mine. Uh, hey, uh, hey, Mamont, you misspelled archaeology. <laughs> or maybe that's how they spell it over in Europe. I don't know. Don't you have any more to say than that? Ah, there we go. Is that so? Ah, so not this tree then. Uh huh. Okay. It's actually a fun little Easter egg. Schliemann is the name of a uh, an amateur archaeologist. Not along. Not far from the lines of Lucky himself, uh, who did lots of damage to uh, ancient sites because he didn't know what the hell he was doing. 